And with that, uh, I uh, uh, recognize my friend from Texas, the general lady, uh, Ms. Jackson, will leave for five minutes of questioning. I thank the chairman and the ranking member, and um, uh, I uh, joined with my uh, colleague and friend from New York, uh, Ms. Clark, on the number of iterations that we've had uh, since uh, my tenure on this committee, which is more than two decades, uh, to be able to really get to the serious work of immigration reform and working together to secure our borders. Uh, for every trip that I may have missed to my friend uh, from North Carolina, uh, I think I have literally lived at the border at every crisis uh, that there have been. I'm from Texas, and I know the border very well. Mr. Judd, let me thank you for 25 years, and I think we've been on this Homeland Security journey almost the same amount of time. Um, you uh, started a little bit before 9-11. Uh, of course, you know we created the Homeland Security uh, Department, uh, and of course, um, excuse my voice, and also the Homeland Security Committee. I'm very proud to have had under our jurisdiction uh, the Border Patrol, of which I've known almost all of the leaders and your counsel as well. Just, just a question, uh, Mr. Judd. Um, would a decrease in funding uh, for the Border Patrol and border needs uh, be of help in any way? No, Decreasing the funding? No, it would not. Thank you. Um, I'm committed uh, to making sure uh, that as we proceed in appropriations, I'm on the authorizing this committee that we work very hard uh, to ensure funding uh, for the needs of our Border Patrols, our CBP, some of the physical infrastructure. I was at the board, uh, Brownsville just a, a couple of weeks ago, um, crossed over the border, as I often do, and um, I see uh, the continuing need. So let me put that on the record, um, first of all. Uh, and let me put on the record as well that our Republican friends uh, who are here in this committee are part of the effort uh, to fund the discretionary funding, which is Border Patrol, Homeland Security at 2019 funding. That would be a sizable seismic cut uh, to the needs of our nation. Uh, let me count myself uh, as a um, strong fighter and opponent uh, to that, along with the Biden administration. But let me also uh, try to clarify very quickly before I raise questions with um, uh, the, uh, uh, one of the witnesses. Um, this is a straw man on this 100% operational control even the former Homeland Security Chairman, Mr. McCall, on May 15, 2020, 2013, during the markup of H.R. 1417, the Border Security Results Act of 2013, shows I've been on this committee for a very long time. We have defined operational control in this bill based on the oversight work of the committee. It is a reflection of testimony from the Chief of the Border Patrol, a 90% standard for success. Over all administrations, we've never gone beyond 70 to 75 percent. Doesn't mean we don't need to continue to achieve, uh, because I'm reminded that it was Border Patrol and FBI that saved us in 9-11, not 9-11, uh, the, um, I'm sorry, the uh, turn of the century uh, when a terrorist was caught at the border. It was the northern border, and it was through the law enforcement work of all of you, uh, Border Patrol, FBI, uh, that we were saved in terms of the northern border. So let's be more accurate in our assessment. Let, let me go to Dr. Dorson. Um, how does the irregular uh, migration into the United States over the northern border compare to irregular migration uh, into Canada? Isn't it true that most weapons and people move north, not south? How is the cooperation on this um, combating this journey of the irregular migration? Did you hear me? My voice is a little yeah. Sorry, really, the, the percentage in Canada is, is minuscule compared to the southern border. But as, as I said in my testimony, this is not nothing, and this is something that we do have to continue to deal with. Um, it is both an enforcement problem, but it's also a root causes issue, and we need to work together to uh, provide options for asylum seekers, options for folks that are in crisis, and regularized migration uh, throughout the hemisphere. Let me also ask, because I'll just get in before the chairman gavels me. We've had a lot, uh, uh, heard a lot about uh, the people and drugs coming into the United States over the northern border. Um, and we understand, however, that 
only one pound of fentanyl has, um, has been uh, uh, found on the northern border this year. Is that true? That's my understanding as well. One pound uh, is this year, yes. Okay, so um, let's get the correct narrative. We should be working together, but we shouldn't put up straw men or false information about uh, what is transpiring. We know we don't want fentanyl here from any border, but what I hope you're saying is that we can get this done by working together, including the agreement that the president just signed with the president of Canada. That's yes. exactly what I'm saying, ma'am. Thank you very much. I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back.